What's up everyone? You are tuned into Unchained TV. This video is my encounter with Lucifer. When I was a kid, I used to go to church a lot. I sat through it as much as I didn't like to because what was being said there, I didn't understand it because I was a kid. But one one of the things that I caught on to the most was how they would talk about the devil and how they would say the devil deceives the whole world. And the best trick he ever played was making the world believe that he didn't exist and how he snatches up souls left and right like a like a lion you know throughout the throughout the whole earth man so i you know how they were talking about him they made him seem like he was the boogeyman and uh i had my encounter my this encounter was so crazy okay i'm going to the tattoo parlor and there's this man covered in tattoos from head to, to ankle and his booth if you if you've been in tattoo parlors you know they have like their own photos and uh pictures or whatever personal pictures on on there you know and he had marilyn monroe all over i mean everywhere it was like yeah yeah i love marilyn monroe i really love marilyn monroe and this, this is the way he said it and how he looked at me i was like no she did right you know, he, he would talk about her like she was still alive. It, to, Marilyn Monroe is his favorite soul. Marilyn Monroe, Lucifer loves Marilyn Monroe. Okay. Now, this is crazy because I'm looking around in his, in his, uh, in his booth and I look on the certificate and it said 666. So I'm like, oh man, this makes sense now. It made it made so much more sense now. So you know he's talking, he's talking, and he's talking about how you know you don't you don't want to get tattoos on your face. You don't want to have these kinds of things on you. You don't want these kinds of things on your soul and on your conscience. And I'm like, what the heck are you talking about? <laughs> it was like, bruh, it was. It was how he talked. It was like, it's not like how we talk. You know, we, we talk like this, like how I'm talking right now. But how he talked, it, it was like, it was like a straight laced kind of like, uh, you know, I, I, I can't even do it. I can't do it. But I, I do have a video. I have a video I'm going to show uh, with Kevin Spacey. And that's how, that's how Lucifer talks. He this video I got of Kevin Spacey, this is how Lucifer actually talks. And I'm going to play this in a little bit. But, you know, it's, it's, it's real. It's real, man. There was a time when Lucifer offered me millions and millions of dollars. He offered me fame. He offered me all, everything celebrities got, everything that celebrities have, and everything celebrities are doing. He offered me that, the world. And I'm, I was trying to figure out why would he do that? Why would you do that? Knowing that I know what you are and what you're trying to do. Like, I know that you played the same thing with Christ. He's, you know, and it's like, it, it is. This is uh, what is it? Matthew chapter 4 verse 9. And said unto him, all these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. And if you move on to verse 10. Then saith Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy heavenly Father, and him only shalt thou serve. And it's, 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 just, it's the truth. They, they, if they hate you, remember they hated the Messiah first. If they rebuke, if they, no rebuke, if they condemn you or sentence you or persecute you, they've done the same thing to the Messiah first. It's the truth. And he's... Lucifer is still out here doing the same thing. Everybody out, every celebrity who has riches, fame, mansions, everything, that all came from Lucifer. I know because he offered me all of that. He offered me all that money, everything. Dude, Lucifer goes after the people who have great influence on others. When I first started my YouTube channel seven years ago, I had no idea that it would expand as much as it did. I had no idea that it, could, it, it went to places and countries I've never been to. <coughs> it's, it's just, it's out there. Like my, my, my content is all over the world. 
And I had no idea that it would go that far. I didn't think that it would go that far. But um, it did. And he he was trying so hard. He was trying so hard because when I started doing my music, you know, I, I came out with these albums and I started doing the music and doing a whole bunch of shows and doing a whole bunch of interviews and doing everything. And he came at me with it. Like, I will give you the world. I will give you this and this if you bow and worship me. I'm like, no, no. Why would you? When you have the Holy Spirit, you know it's a trap. You know what's happening. You know what's going on. A lot of these celebrities today, they failed. They failed that. That's why I don't trust none of them. None of them. The only reason they are at where they at is because of Lucifer and Lucifer only. When they are out there or when they on a stage accepting awards and stuff, they're not thanking the most high. They're thanking God, their God, Satan, Lucifer. That's who they're thanking. That's who they are thanking. And there's even celebrities that ain't even ashamed of it. They'll tell you that they worship the devil and that they, they got all their money and fame. They don't care. Because the people will just take it as entertainment. They'll just be like, oh, they're just talking poo. They ain't, they ain't really serious about it. It's just, it's just like a publicity stunt. Propaganda. It's not. It's the truth. People, like I said, man, this, this world is so lost in darkness that when darkness presents itself to them, they don't know what it is. They can't even recognize it. They can't even sense the evil in, in, in certain people and certain things. They can't sense it. Like I said, man, I've been offered all of this. I've been offered all that money, millions and millions and millions. I've been offered fame because of my content, the content of my music. My music was, it was, it would speak on uh, witchcraft, spells, magic. It would speak on haunted houses, ghosts, apparitions. I mean, it was like, it was something that the mainstream artists weren't talking about. And Lucifer saw that as a gold mine. He saw that. He was like, yeah, this is something that I could really use. Baruch, I will give you this and this and that and this and that. If you, I'm like, no, no. hell no. You, so, yeah, you don't give me all that, but I know the price. I know the price. And it's my soul, right? Get thee behind me, Satan. That's it. And that was it. Here's here. This is the second time. Now, check out this second part right here. I have Facebook, right? And I got this invitation to a mansion party in Vegas, October 31st, last year. I got that invitation. It was supposed to be a, a who's who's of celebrities there. Now, I know about mansion parties because I heard uh, Cat Williams talk about it in his stand up on what goes on at mansion parties. I knew, I already knew what it was. It was an initiation. If I if I went there and I liked what I was what I was in and I enjoyed it, then it would consume me. And then I would be gone. And I was like, no, 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 don't do it. Don't go. Don't go to this mansion party. As much as I wanted to check it out to see if it was really what Cat Williams talking about, there was something in me. It was like the most high. The Holy Spirit was like, no, don't go. Don't go. Don't go. I'm like, oh, OK, I'm just not going to go. Invited to a mansion party with a who's who's of celebrities and I'm not even a celebrity. See what I'm saying? See, like that's how you need you. You have to stay vigilant to recognize that thing, to recognize it. Y'all got this for real. People do not get their fame and fortune and riches from the most high. The most high has nothing to do with that. That is all from Lucifer. All of it. I'm going to play this video. I got this video, man, with Kevin Spacey talking. This is how Lucifer actually talks. You want to play this video? When I play this video, that's how Lucifer talks. Listen to how Kevin Spacey's talking. And I, I wouldn't even doubt it, man. That's probably Lucifer in the, in the form of Kevin Spacey. Because, like I said, he can take any form he wants. What he pleases. He can walk amongst the people and nobody would notice. He's real. It's a real creature. That transforms into anything and anybody and goes around snatching souls. That is real. It's not a made up story. It's not a bedtime story. It's none of that. It's the truth. It's real, man. Yeah. Yeah. I turned everything down. Everything. Because it was, I knew the price. 
And I knew it was a lie. And I knew it was, he was trying to deceive me. Like he did Christ. He does it to everybody. He does it to everybody. It's up to you whether you want to pay attention to it or not. If you, It's up to you if you're vigilant or not. But check this video out right here, man. I got this video. Just If this is Kevin Spacey or not, but listen to what he's saying. That's how Lucifer talks. He talks like Kevin Spacey in this video. This is Unchained TV, man. The Heavenly Father is always the truth. Baruch Shah, man. Out. Let's play the video. I know what you want. Oh, sure, they may have tried to separate us, but what we have is too strong. It's too powerful. I mean, after all, we shared everything, you and I. I told you my deepest, darkest secrets. I showed you exactly what people are capable of. I shocked you with my honesty, but mostly I challenged you and made you think. And you trusted me, even though you knew you shouldn't. So we're not done, no matter what anyone says. And besides, I know what you want. You want me back. Of course, some believed everything and had just been waiting with bated breath to hear me confess it all. They're just dying to have me declare that everything said is true and that I got what I deserved. Wouldn't that be easy if it was all so simple? Only you and I both know it's never that simple, not in politics and not in life. But you wouldn't believe the worst without evidence, would you? You wouldn't rush to judgments without facts, would you? Did you? No, not you. You're smarter than that. Anyway, all this presumption made for such an unsatisfying ending. And to think it could have been such a memorable send-off. I mean, if you and I have learned nothing else these past years, it's that in life and art, nothing should be off the table. We weren't afraid, not of what we said, not of what we did, and we're still not afraid. Because I can promise you this. If I didn't pay the price for the things we both know I did do... I'm certainly not going to pay the price for the things I didn't do. Oh, of course, they're going to say I'm being disrespectful, not playing by the rules. Like I ever played by anyone's rules before. I never did. And you loved it. Anyhow, despite all the poppycock, the animosity, the headlines, the impeachment without a trial, despite everything, despite even my own death, I feel surprisingly good. And my confidence grows each day that soon enough you will know the full truth. Well, wait a minute. Now that I think of it, you never actually saw me die, did you? Conclusions can be so deceiving. Miss me?